Welcome back. Old world grapes meet a new trend for Chattanooga. Yeah, the DeBarge Winery is growing grapes in North Georgia and selling their spirits on the south side. News Channel 9's Latricia Thomas walks us through the winemaking process in tonight's Made in Our Hometown. The top rows being Chardonnay. The uh, second rows being Merlot, and then we move down to Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc. Growing grapes is no longer left to Napa Valley. It does very well with hot, humid weather. Here in the foothills of the Tennessee Valley, DeBarge Winery is making their mark. As far as I know, we're the only people in Georgia that grow it. On the industry. We're developing our own terroir and, and finding what grows best with this particular soil and the grapes that are best matched for the type of wine style that I want to make. Staying away from sweet. Most people come in and they're looking for a sweet muscadine, and we don't do that. So most people with sophisticated palates prefer dry reds. Dry reds that start on these vines. This is Cabernet Franc. Early fall is prime picking time. So you take a grape fork on any given cluster, pop it like that, and it's done. Once the bushel is bursting. One of these plants, any given plant, generally will produce about 16 pounds of grapes. It's time for the hopper. It's going to crush the berries and spit the stems out the very end. The main reason is to extract the colors and the flavors, the anthocyanins and the tannins from the grape itself. The fermentation process takes at least two weeks. You have to know how to grow the grape itself, but after it's done, then you have to do the fermentation and do the magic and create the wine. And whether you call it magic or science. And you can see what the sugar content is based upon the number of bricks. DeBarge is making sure that what comes out of these barrels Dark fruit, excellent year, great concentration, nice legs on the on the glass. Is worth wearing their family name in their south side retail space. I think it's really terrific that we can make a great bottle of wine, but at the same time, I think it's great that it has been um, a labor of love from all of us, and that just carries through um, all the way through to capping that last bottle um, at the end of the season. And both the Vineyard and Marge Winery Southside location are available for events like weddings.